Hi everyone, this is Ms. Helms, back for video number three. And by the end of this video, you should be able to apply relationships between volume and areas of similar solids. So what you learned in the previous investigation, or the previous two investigations, was that if we know the side ratio between similar figures is m over n, then we know there is a relationship between the ratio of their areas and the ratio of their volumes. We know that the area ratio is m squared over n squared, and their volume ratio is m cubed over n cubed. So knowing this information, we can solve any of these area or volume problems with proportions. In this problem, we are told that the triangular prisms are similar and the ratio of A to B is 5 over 2. Well, 5 over 2 is their side ratio. That's what it's referring to. A and B are both lengths of the sides of these triangular prisms. So, we are told the volume of the large prism is 250 centimeters cubed, and we are asked to find the volume of the small prism. So what we're going to do is if we want to find the volume, we need to be using the volume ratio. Well, if we know the side ratio is 5 over 2, then to find the volume ratio, all we have to do is cube each of those values. So 5 cubed is 125, and 2 cubed is 8. So therefore, the volume ratio, which is what we just found, between these two similar prisms is 125 over 8. Now we can use this to set up a proportion to solve for the missing volume. So we know 125 over 8 is equal to, we're given the volume of the large prism. So in the proportion that we're setting up, the larger prism is, on, is in the numerator. So we are going to set it up as 250 over x, which is the volume of the smaller prism. To solve this, we're going to go ahead and cross multiply. So we will get 125x is equal to 2,000. And to get x by itself, we're going to use inverse operations. So we're going to divide both sides by a 125. And we are going to be left with x is equal to 16 centimeters cubed, which is the volume of the smaller prism. Nice work.